Hi, this is Caitlin Porter from the Mongoose Enablement Team. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can utilize predefined templates within Mongoose to rapidly build out no-code, low-code, front-end user interfaces that integrate with Ion workflows. Let's take a second to talk about our use case. We have data from LN and want to set up an approval process with that data to a group of users. Utilizing an Ion workflow, we can create a form that will allow the user to submit purchase orders, assign them to a user, as well as the ability to approve or reject that purchase order. In this demo, I will first walk you through an existing Ion workflow and briefly touch on the pieces that integrate with Mongoose. Then, I will demonstrate how to use Mongoose Form Builder to build out a user interface on top of an existing data source. After the interface has been created, I will demonstrate the workflow approval process from start to finish. Lastly, utilizing the Mongoose Web Designer, I will point out the dynamic pieces of the template and how they integrate with the Ion workflow. Here is our existing workflow that I'm going to use for this demo. This workflow will trigger when a new purchase order has been submitted. When the order has been submitted, the users on the distribution list will get an inbox notification letting them know that there is a new purchase order that needs approval. Upon selection of that inbox notification, it will launch the user into the Mongoose form where they can approve or deny the purchase order. If I open up the workflow in Ion Desk, you can see the properties of the workflow that make it dynamic for use in Mongoose templates. Under the Parameters tab is a list of parameters that are passed into the workflow from Mongoose. These are dynamic variables that link the workflow to a particular purchase order within Mongoose. If I navigate to the Purchase Order Submitted task, you can see a list of properties that the task needs. Here is where I can set up my notifications for when a new purchase order is created. If I navigate to the Actions tab, I can specify exactly what action buttons I want the user to be able to perform when they are directed to the record in Mongoose. In this example, I only want to give the user two actions, the ability to approve or reject a purchase order. The distribution list is a list of all the users that will get notifications when this workflow is triggered. This list will also populate the list of approvers within Mongoose. If I select the decision tree, I can create a condition that will trigger the approve or reject notification. In this example, I'm going to say that when the status in Mongoose is set to approve, then send an approve notification and vice versa. I can also specify what users I want to be notified when a purchase order is approved or rejected by specifying the users on the distribution list of each notification. Now I'm going to show you, with the use of a Mongoose template, how to rapidly build a form that uses Ion APIs to integrate with Ion workflows. To do this, we are first going to create a form using Form Builder from the Runtime Builder. Here, I'm going to give my form a name, select a data source, and then I will select the Ion Workflow template. Then, I will select the properties that I want to be included on my form. Once you're done, hit Finish, and you'll see your new form has been created with the properties that you selected. In order to trigger this workflow, we need to create a new purchase order. To do so, hit the new icon in the top left corner of the toolbar. Purchase orders can be created via a BOD from another integrated ERP application or it could be localized data. In this example, we will create a purchase order manually in Mongoose, but this could be data that has been transacted in another application. Once we have our purchase order ready to be submitted, you can use the drop list in the top right corner to select from a list of available workflows within Ion Desk. This workflow can be dynamic based on user selection, or with minimal code can be hard coded into the form. I'm going to select our workflow we looked at earlier and then hit save. Once the record saves, it will use an API call to start the workflow. To view the notification, hit the inbox icon in the top right corner. Here, you can see an inbox notification saying purchase order needs approval with external form. This will take you to an external form, which is the form within Mongoose. When I select the form and it opens up, you'll now notice that we have some more options. Here, you have the ability to assign it to a user. This is a list of the users that were defined on the distribution list within the workflow. I also now have two buttons, Approve or Reject. These are dynamic based on the Actions tab in the workflow. 
I'm going to go ahead and select myself as the user to assign it to. And when I do this, it does an API call to, to assign the workflow to this user. Once I've assigned the workflow to myself, I can now approve or reject the workflow. I'm going to go ahead and approve it. Once I do that, that'll set another API call that will set the status to be approved and will notify the task as completed. Now, if I go back into the inbox, you can now see a notification saying purchase order was approved. I hope after this demo, you now understand how Mongoose predefined workflow templates can help you rapidly create a low code or even no code front end for Ion workflows. This is Caitlin Porter from the Mongoose Enablement team. Thanks for watching.